Pancreatic cancer is one of the most difficult cancers to detect early, but genetic testing and screening can help identify patients who are at risk for this cancer. In this video, I will talk about pancreatic cancer, the early symptoms you should know about, review the types of pancreatic cancer, the risk factors, prevention of pancreatic cancer, and finally describe the types of treatment that are available. What is the prognosis for pancreatic cancer? About 60,000 people in the United States are diagnosed with pancreatic cancer each year. The five-year survival for the traditional pancreatic adenocarcinoma is about 9%. However, endocrine cancers of the pancreas have a much different clinical course with people living for many years. Remember that these percentages do not mean much for any individual. They describe results for a large group of people. If pancreatic cancer is caught early, it can be treated. So it is very important to know about the signs and symptoms of the disease and what you can do if you or a loved one have a diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. What are the types of pancreatic cancer? There are several types of pancreatic cancer and they can be divided into endocrine and exocrine. Endocrine tumors are those that begin in the cells of your pancreas that make hormones, such as insulin. We will not be discussing these endocrine tumors during this talk. For more information on endocrine tumors, cancer.net has additional reading that we have included in the links below. The focus of our video is a common type of pancreatic cancer called adenocarcinoma, which is considered an exocrine tumor. These tumors usually start in the ducts of the pancreas, which are parts of the exocrine cells. How can you tell if you have pancreatic cancer? Most people don't know they have pancreatic cancer until they become very ill. One of the signs of pancreatic cancer is jaundice, a condition when your skin and whites of your eyes look yellow or greenish. Some patients with jaundice may have dark urine or light or clay colored stool. The tumor could also interfere with nearby organs in the abdomen causing other symptoms, which may include abdominal pain that radiates to the back and worsens after eating or when lying down, digestive difficulties, including indigestion, nausea, weight loss, poor appetite, and diarrhea, or vomiting. Ascites is a buildup of fluid in the abdomen, which can also be caused by pancreatic cancer and causes swelling and distension. Sudden development of diabetes in people with normal body weight or the loss of control over well-controlled diabetes could also be a warning sign of pancreatic cancer. What could I have done to prevent pancreatic cancer? People often wonder, was it something I ate or a habit I had? Or is this genetic? What we do know is that pancreatic cancer does not develop from consuming a particular food or drink. While scientists are still working to understand how this cancer develops and the best way to treat it, we do know that your genes may play a role. As many as 15% of pancreatic cancers are related to a family history of the disease. Research tells us that the chance of someone developing pancreatic cancer increases by two to three times if a person's mother, father, sibling, or child had pancreatic cancer. Which genes are linked to pancreatic cancer? There are certain genes that are linked to increased risk of pancreatic cancer. For example, the genes responsible for breast and ovarian cancer, BRCA1 and BRCA2, are also highly associated with pancreatic cancer. In fact, as many as 10% of pancreatic cancers may be associated with BRCA1 and 2 mutations. What inherited conditions make someone prone to pancreatic cancer? Members of families with some rare inherited conditions have a significantly increased risk of pancreatic cancer. These conditions include hereditary pancreatitis, putz jeger syndrome, familial malignant melanoma and pancreatic cancer, FAMPC, hereditary breast and ovarian cancer, HBOC syndrome, Lynch syndrome, Lee-Fraumeni syndrome, and family adenomatous polyposis, or FAP. Overall, genetic testing and or a personalized discussion with your doctor is the best way to identify people, including those in your family, who may be at risk for developing pancreatic cancer. What are other risk factors for pancreatic cancer? Pancreatic cancer is closely related to cigarette smoking. About 30% of pancreatic cancer cases are thought to be a direct result of cigarette smoking. Specific foods are not linked to pancreatic cancer. However, regularly eating foods high in fat increases risk for pancreatic cancer. 
In general, maintaining a healthy diet protects your body from illnesses. Some viruses, such as hepatitis B, have also been linked to pancreatic cancer. Also, some conditions, such as cirrhosis. Other general risk factors include older age, ethnicity, weight, and other comorbidities, such as chronic pancreatitis and diabetes. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle for vulnerable groups who may be predisposed to pancreatic cancer is especially important. What is CA199? This is a tumor marker that is shed by cancer cells. High levels of a tumor marker called CA199 may be a sign of pancreatic cancer. CA199 can be measured with a blood test. What treatment options are there for pancreatic cancer? Your team of healthcare providers might offer options such as surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. Surgery is usually offered to people who have a cancer that has not spread outside the pancreas. The operations are known as a Whipple and a pancreatectomy. A Whipple operation removes the head of the pancreas rather than the whole organ, while a pancreatectomy is a complete removal of the pancreas. For those with tumors extending beyond the pancreas, doctors usually offer a combination of chemotherapy and or radiation. If the cancer has spread, other possible treatments include chemotherapy, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy. A doctor may consider molecular testing, which includes taking a sample of the tumor in order to discover any biological information that may help treat the tumor. For all patients with pancreatic adenocarcinoma, consultation with a palliative care team is beneficial. They can help manage symptoms at all stages of the illness and assist with planning for the future. Understanding the complexity of pancreatic cancer can feel overwhelming. If you or a loved one are concerned about pancreatic cancer, prepare a list of all of your questions and bring that list when you visit your doctor. Consider asking about genetic testing for you or family members who may be at risk, and consider a consultation with a palliative care expert. Mm -hmm.